YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Radeon Chill, which is a feature that's included with the Radeon soft, <coughs> pardon me, Radeon software. And uh, by default, it is set to off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to turn that on and how to set it up as a, uh, a good feature for individual games. Not all games are supported. I will put a link in the description below that will tell you guys which games you can use this with as well as which video cards are compatible. That link will be in the description down below. Uh, so we're going to start the video with a brief explanation of what is Radeon Chill, what can it do for you, and then we'll get into the software side and a brief demonstration in-game. I'll be playing uh, Sniper Elite 4 and uh, show you guys how it works when it's on and how it works when it's off and uh, you guys can compare the the performance and the temperature, the speeds, etc. It'll be on the screen. I'll put the, the info in the left corner there. You'll be able to tell real time what's going on with the hardware. And you'll see that it's, uh, in my opinion, it's a great feature and it's well worth using when possible. Depending on the game, of course, uh, your benefits will be either greater or less great depending on what game you're playing but uh, what is Radeon Chill? It's basically you're setting a minimum frame rate and a maximum frame rate for your gaming session so if you're in a situation like Sniper Elite where you're behind cover or you're sneaking around and there's not too much going on in the background or you're getting prone or whatever uh, if you don't need it the frames the frame rate comes down which results in your your video card GPU um, speeds reducing so your clock speeds on the GPU come down your memory speed is decreased and your power consumption goes down the benefit to you as the user is that your temperatures also go down and uh, your fan speeds will slow down so that makes it more more audible, uh, more enjoyable audibly uh, as well. Uh, so if you're in a situation where you don't want your PC to run too loud and not too hot, Radeon Chill is a great option. Or if you live somewhere where electricity is super expensive and you just want to save those dollars, you can also uh, save some money doing this. You'll see that I mean I'm saving almost 80 watts just by enabling Chill. So pretty pretty substantial when you're gonna play games for you know a couple hours a week it adds up so with that said we're gonna get into how to enable it right now and then I'll show you guys the demonstration alright guys in order to enable Radeon Chill again by default it is disabled so you just go down to your taskbar here right click on Radeon settings and open up Radeon settings. Once you're in here, you're going to want to click on gaming. Then click on global settings. Right here, you'll see chill. By default, it is off. So you'll see this like this. You'll click on it. It will tell you once enabled that your hotkey is F11. So if you're in-game and you want to turn it on, you press F11. Or if it's on and you want to turn it off, you press F11. Uh, so once that's done, we're going to go back to the main screen here. You're going to see all these games. These are games that are installed on my computer that do support Radeon Chill. And if for some reason you have a game that is not showing up here, you can click the add button in the top right corner and add a, a game that's not showing up here. Um, once you're in here, you just click on the game you want to play, in my case Sniper Elite 4. Uh, you'll see here that it's on. You can also turn it off if you like, but obviously the demonstration wouldn't be very useful if it was off. So. Here you have your chill minimum and your chill maximum. Uh, what the minimum is, as I've explained, when you're not active, when you're not engaging in action, it will clock down to accommodate your minimum FPS. When you are playing the game and you are active, 
it will clock up to whatever you choose. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move this guy all the way over to 300 because it'll go as fast as it can. And uh, once that's set, that's it. We're gonna go back. And we're gonna launch the game. So I'll be right back in a moment here once the game is started and I'll demonstrate how it works for you guys. All right, YouTube, here we are in game with Sniper Elite 4. And once you've enabled it in your Radeon settings, chill will be active when you start the game. So by default, it is on. As you can see, I'm sitting here and my FPS is sitting at the minimum FPS that I set. My GPU clocks are around 1150 megahertz. My memory, you'll see, bounce around between 8 and 1100 megahertz. My temperature is currently at 55 degrees Celsius. Power consumption at 130 and fan spinning around 3300 RPM. Staying in the same place, I will now disable chill and you'll see what happens. As soon as I disable it, my FPS goes up, my GPU clock speeds go up to about 1660, my memory's locked in at 1100, temperatures quickly rose to 68 degrees, 69 now, and I'm consuming about 255 to 260 watts of power with my fan spinning around 4300 RPM. Once again, we'll disable or we'll re enable chill. Those tones that you just heard mean that it has been enabled. Clock speeds come down, temperatures come down, fan slows down, and power consumption goes down. With it on, as you'll see here, I start moving, everything goes up as it normally would. But if I sit behind this box for cover, FPS drops back down, power drops down, clock speeds drop down, temperature drops down. So it's quick, it's effortless, and it can help save quite a bit of money depending on the game you're playing. Uh, a game like Sniper Elite where you spend a fair bit of time behind cover or hiding from your opponent. You can see that uh, I'm sitting at 130 watts when sitting still. As soon as I start moving, that spikes up to about 256, 260. And again, if I disable chill and I run around and then I stop, nothing changes. So when you're sitting still, you're literally consuming as much power, you're generating as much heat, and your fans are spinning as fast when it's really not necessary when you enable chill you can really see you know how much you're wasting when chill is not active so that was my brief demonstration guys hopefully you found the information useful and with summer coming for most people in the northern hemisphere uh, you're going to hopefully be able to help keep your GPU temperatures nice and cool this summer and uh, save on your power bill as well. So if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more stuff from me, McPato, in the future, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be trying to bring at least two videos per month, maybe three or four, depending, uh, moving forward. And uh, as always, I appreciate your support in the form of watching my videos, subscribing, commenting, liking, etc. So I look forward to seeing you guys soon. And uh, until then, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.